Hello guys, welcome to Cloud IT Solutions. In this Avaya IP Office video, we cover the below configuration in R11 version. How to create Hachida 323 and SIP extension. How to create user rights, short codes and ARS routing. How to assign permission to make outgoing calls. First topic is how to create Hachida 323 and SIP extension. Normally, Hachida 323 protocol song can support only Avaya 9600 series and 1600 series phones. SIP is a standard open protocol can be used to configure third-party and Avaya J100 series SIP phones. Once the Avaya IP manager open, go to users, right click, click new. In the new tab, the right side you can see name the name is the extension name so this is the name will appear on the avaya phones now i am going to create an extension number 100100 click ok we will be getting three options none h.323 and sip extension i am selecting here h.323 extension click ok we are going to create one more extension that is SIP extension. The name of the extension is SIP extension and extension number is 101. Click OK and select SIP extension. If you choose none, that can be used for analog lines. Click OK. Now we have successfully created users. You can go to extension and view the extension. We do need to create separately extension number in the extension tab. Now we have created Hachida 323 extension and SIP extension 100 and 101 simultaneously. Once done, we need to save the configuration. Click the save button and the configuration will merge the manager configuration with the Avaya control unit. Click OK. Type the username as administrator and password. Click OK. Now the configuration has saved successfully. Now we go to the second topic, how to create user rights, short code and ARS routing. Again, open Avaya Manager. Select IP Office. Now this IP Office, if it is in the same LAN, it will detect automatically. If it is in different LAN, you need to assign the IP address and click refresh button. Now the Avaya IP Office Manager open. We are going to assign user rights, short code and ARS routing. So click user rights, right click, the user rights name we are giving international. So this is for international calls, apply user rights value and 9N. So the sub prefix we have mentioned nyan so the outgoing call should be start with nyan and button programming for line appearance normally we will apply three button programming line appearance a b and c and click ok Up, click appearance right click appearance click ok and then again right click so the user write permission can assign here now I have signed international permission for H323. Simultaneously, the ARS routing also needs to be created. ARS routing name international. Dial delay time 4. And secondary dial tone. Here the routing code. Question mark. Dot dial the line group ID. The line group ID is the line. Either it could be an analog line or PRI line. So we can choose the line group ID from the tab line. So here we can choose the, we have now analog and PRI card. So right click, go outbound group ID and select inbound group ID. Now it's clearly mentioned the group, outgoing group ID is 1 for PRI line, for analog it is 0. So currently I have chosen the line group ID 1. Now one more ARS we are creating for mobile only, that is mobile only the name. Again, now we are going to bar 00 dialing. 
so 0 0 n dial is bar we can choose the line group id on our based on our convenient whichever we have and one more for apart from the 0 0 all other calls can dial the line group id will be 1 through analog line if you are using pri if you are having line group id different you can use like the same now go again to the user rights select the line group id international again create one more user rights mobile only select set codes click apply rights value and this is 9n n and the line group id we select mobile only the extension once done the button programming is common we can have like three button program appearance id a b and c we can create three simultaneously the user rights can be applied either here or we can go to users and apply so currently sip extension having mobile only and international now the third one how to assign permission to make outgoing calls already we have created the ars group so we can directly go either in user rights and select the user rights and select the extension number or we can go to users select the extension number and go down select working hour user rights mobile only it has been already selected since we have already assigned it from the user rights if we need to do any changes we can do it here and click save button and it will be saved you need to type the password again click ok now we have successfully done our task hope you have enjoyed the video please stay tuned for more videos thanks for your support